Hello again. Um, in this video, I'm just going to show you installation for AlexNet, and then we'll go through uh, the deep learning in 11 lines of MATLAB code example that uh, MATLAB has up on their website. Uh, so if we go back, all I've got is blank script. I'm, I typed in AlexNet, and it requires that you install the deep learning toolbox. Um, so we're going to go to add on explorer and make sure we have the deep learning toolbox and also the AlexNet model. Um, let's, yep, so we are, I already have the deep learning toolbox. So let's go there first. Uh, make sure you have the deep learning toolbox installed and then we can go back. And then I need the deep learning toolbox for AlexNet network. And that's actually a pre-trained model for classifying images. So let's install that. Pause while it does this. All right, so I got Alex not installed now. I can close that and then come back. And really I could I could run that same command again. And this time it would actually work. Let's double check. So it creates, uh, essentially imports the model and gets everything ready so that we can use it. Um, so let's go over to the example and cut and paste that into our demo. Uh, so what it's doing is it's taking or finding out what the current camera is um, and grabbing that webcam, which I have to change because I've got a bunch of different cameras set up. I've got a really mediocre webcam that I'm going to use specifically for this. So I think I have to use the webcam list. Oh, yeah. So let me run. I need the third one. So I'm going to tell it webcam three um, is my camera. You can use just the standard or the no argument one. Let's double check that. Can handle a numerical argument. Device number. Good. All right. Um, and then it, it creates a new um, instance of the AlexNet class. So we have the AlexNet object. It tells the camera to take a snapshot. It resizes it um, to a certain size. It classifies it, and then it draws the picture, um, puts a title to it, and says draw now. I'm going to grab um, one line of code so that it shows up properly for you guys. So give me one second. All right, so apparently images in MATLAB are not like figures and that they don't have a position that you can set. So I had to do it manually. Um, but you can see right now I'm being classified as a suit. Um, but if I hold something else up in front of it, this is a hand blow, oh, remote control getting closer. What if I hold up my keyboard? Notebook, grand piano. Oh, it said computer keyboard there for a second. <laughs> wow. Cowboy head? No. Maybe I need to get out of there. Pencil, come on. Hand blower. Shower can. <laughs> what a nine volt battery. Window shade, it's getting that. That's correct. <laughs> what do I have that's obvious? Um, give me a second. Not gonna lie, I don't think I have anything in here that will be correctly classified other than my 
potentially computer keyboard, grand piano, no? Come on, you can do it. <sighs> Disappointing. Well, let's try some images. So that's AlexNet with your webcam, right? Um, now let's try something with the XY table. So let me stop that. Um, instead of, hopefully, oh yeah, that's a pretty good funny image to stay on. Um, so instead of the webcam, because we're using the simulator, I built in two image sets into the MechaGod software um, that you can use, or the XY table will grab from that directory. So we can modify this instead of the instead of the webcam. We're going to do something a little different. We're going to create a new x. We say my xy is equal to xy table. So just like we did before, I'm going to specify com ninety nine, and then there's two options. One is random photos, and the other one is food list. So random photos and food list. Um, so let's say, which one, food list. One of them only shows up the random photos when you start up the XY table, it puts four photos randomly on the XY table and you have to like scan it to find them. Whereas the food list, whenever you request a photo, it will give you a new photo. So let's do that. So we have an XY table now, XY table object. So instead of camera dot snapshot, I'm going to say my XY dot take snapshot. And then comment that out. I believe it's take snapshot. Let's check my website. Um, capital T snapshot. Okay. So we take a snapshot and that's going to return a photo, which it's then going to resize and uh, classify. Now I'm going to have it delay for a second afterwards because otherwise it's going to cycle through random food images. But let's wait, let's do a pause four seconds. Um, now let's run this. So it creates a new XY object. If I move this over. That is not a candle. It's an upside down set of pancakes. Oh. Mad Lab's displaying them weird. Butternut squash, close. It is very starchy. Pizza. That's not a tennis ball. It's got an orange on there. Cheeseburger again. So it does the it does the popular food items pretty well. I don't see a strawberry in there. Come on, that's just that's an Idaho Idaho potato right there if I've ever seen one. Um, so it'll cycle through and to do it. Granny Smith, come on, that's an avocado. But you can see with uh, image, the larger the image set kind of input that you have for training the neural network, the better it's going to be at classifying some of these photos. And the the random photo list um, is actually even more like it includes animals as well. Um, and those again are going to be randomly positioned around the XY table. So the only way you can find those is by moving the XY table to a specific region. And within that region, an image will show up. Otherwise, you'll get a black photo. So if I put in uh, random photos, it's going to show a black image because I'm going to be at zero, zero when it starts up. So let's run that.
and their their joke apparently is um it shows up as a nematode which is a single cell single celled organism if i remember correctly um so the black image is just instead of saying black image it's has a programmer's joke in it um so there's nothing in that image uh, if I move to a different spot, I'm not going to tell you exactly where those spots are. Uh, you'll need to find them. But when you move to a different spot with a random photo list, it will actually be able to, when you take a snapshot, it will return a photo with an actual image in it. So that's using um, AlexNet and then also the XY table and the picture functionality. Um, if, if you want to use it with uh, your webcam, you can. You can hold stuff up to it. Again, AlexNet is good. It's not perfect. Uh, there are better ones out there, but um, this is probably one of the easiest ones to use in MATLAB. Um, so classify some photos and tackle those lab tasks. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. See you later.